Good afternoon. Welcome back to the workbench. Now, apologies for not posting anything recently. Um, I just haven't had the opportunity really to do it, and uh, the brief times that I have tried to do something, it uh, just hasn't worked out for various reasons. Um, so nothing's been forthcoming until now. Um, so I just want to do something now. This will be a little quick thing, just something to do. Um, hopefully nothing too complicated. Um, it, uh, I don't think this will be a very in-depth uh, video either, though. Um, of course, a repair, but I don't think it's really going to be a repair. Um, to be honest, I think this video may be a kind of a <laughs> uh, Dave Jones kind of style one, in the sense that it'll be like the ones where the fault is something really, really simple, and um, yeah, there isn't really a fault at all. It's just something really basic, I suspect. Anyway. Um, but yeah, we'll just see what happens. Of course, Murphy may come and bite me, and it'll be the complete opposite of what I've just said, but hey, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> anyway, so this is a little uh, mixing desk console thing, mini mixer thingy. It's an Alto AMX 120. Um, I don't know, it's how many, how many inputs? 12 claims? Um, maybe. It says that, but it counts each independent channel as a separate uh, input, so, you know, it kind of a bit, is a bit, a bit cheating there, you know what I mean? So, you know, we've got, uh, you know, input line 9 and 10, well, that's going to be a stereo input, so if you're using a stereo signal on that, well, it's really just one input, not two, and I mean, yeah, technically it's 12 mono inputs you could mix together, but in reality it's more like six stereo ones. But anyway, I mean... For the kind of thing I might want to do with it, I think that's plenty for now. Um, I don't think I'll need anything bigger than that. Um, unlikely. Anyway, so I got this second hand. Uh, it was only $30. It was sold as not working. Faulty, I think. Um, I actually bought it quite a while ago, and I can't remember what the description was. Um, it's been sitting around, and I decided finally now to actually get over and make a video about it, because I may actually want to use this soon. So hopefully, um, it'll be fixable, or at least easily fixable. Um, I got this uh, because, like I said, it was pretty cheap, and also I looked up the schematic. All the schematics seem to be available for these, which is nice. Um, and this is basically just a really little simple analog, fully analog mixer. Um, as far as I can tell, you know, um, it's just basically a bunch of op amps, a lot of op amps, and I think a split rail supply, like a 7815 and a 7915, something like that. Um, really, really simple um, sort of thing. Um, it also has phantom power for these microphones, I don't know how it gets that, they might have a, some sort of boost converter or something in there, or something, but... Um, or uh, maybe even a little transformer in there, because it does take an AC input, and apparently, 18 volts AC. Um, but yeah, I don't know, it was it basically sold, I think it's not working, and I figured, well, hey, even if, uh, you know, the regulators are blowing or something, or op amps are blowing, you know, it's still pretty simple to do, because, like I said, it's just fully analog, there's no EPROMs to get corrupted, there's no microcontrollers to die, there's no proprietary firmware anywhere, it's nothing too complicated, so, um, it was a good candidate to play around with, and, uh, when I got it, I opened it up, and I actually had a, a video where I showed opening the box, uh, along with a bunch of other things, it was pretty apparent when I opened the box, um, of what the fault could well be, this is just something I got, uh, on auction, uh, cheaply, which I thought I'd have a go at uh, repairing. So this is uh, packaged up nice and well. So there's a little power supply here, which uh, doesn't seem to be correct, but okay. But, uh, as far as I can tell, it should be an 18 volt adapter that says 9 volts. That's uh, completely wrong. So, hmm, that's interesting. And now we've got the uh, thing itself. Let's just get that out of here. So I got this uh, fairly cheap. Um, as not working. Apparently, there's no output audio from it. Looking on the uh, thing here from the auction, it says 18 volts AC. Um, and like I just said, the adapter they've sent with it says 9 volts DC, so that could be the problem. Yeah, well, that's not going to work, is it? I mean, like I said, a split rail power supply, according to the schematic, it's a pair of uh, basic regulators, and um, you can't really get a split rail power supply 
off something that expects AC in by giving it DC of half the voltage it's supposed to be. Um, so yeah, that's not going to work. I don't know if this was what the previous owner attempted to use this with, um, or if it's one they accidentally stuck in the box, or they just couldn't find the one they were using and just decided to chuck this in for a laugh. I don't know. Um, but even if this does work, which I don't know, um, it definitely isn't going to work with this. Uh, so for the sake of fun, I might as well just plug it in and see what happens. Um, see if it actually, if actually, if it works. Um, but I suspect it may not. Well, I suspect it definitely won't work with this. In fact, I know for a fact it won't work with this. Um, I should get some kind of foot switch, I think, for this. So I can... Uh... Anyway, it's powered up. We can have a look and see if we actually get anything out of it. I have no idea. Let's see, 20 volts. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Well, 9.2 volts, so this thing is working. But again, that's uh, 9.2 volts DC. There's no way it's going to work for this. Um, completely, uh, completely unsuitable for that. Um, so yeah, I assume the uh, previous owner plugged this in. We can actually see what happens, just for a laugh. Um, I can plug this in. If I switch this on, well, we do get a power light, a couple of LEDs. Which kind of makes sense. I mean, this should be able to power the uh, positive rail of the uh, supply and uh, give us a uh, a light because the light, you know, it's not going to need that much power. Um, obviously, the regulator is probably dropping out, um, but it's probably supplying, you know, eight volts or something to this LED, and it's going to work fine. So I think that's probably what happened. The uh, previous owner plugged this in, the light came on, but most likely they got no output, or it was f horribly distorted or whatever, so they just said, well, it doesn't work, which uh, makes perfect sense. So that's, uh, you notice these uh, peak lights here came on for these two two uh, ones here. What's this? That's uh, input one and two, which I guess is for these two microphones here. So yeah, it's going to be a more complicated circuitry than these ones. Anyway, I've got another supply here. This is a 16 volt AC um, actual transformer. I would say, considering the amount of current this will draw, it won't be very much. The unloaded voltage of this should be pretty high, close to 18 volts or higher, so I think it's close enough it should work with this. Um, in any case, hopefully, because I have to try and find another transformer, that'll be a right pain, and this video probably won't exist um, for a while longer. Now, if this would actually plug in... There we go. Okay. So, it definitely isn't going to work with this, but this one here, it uh, may actually do something. So, let's turn this off. Plug this in and see what it does. Well, there we go. We got more LEDs for a start. Something is actually happening. Yeah. That's a much better sign. The light is brighter too, which is not surprising. If I flick the phantom power switch at the back for the microphones, we see the uh, output level flickering up and down. But yes, obviously uh, that doesn't really tell us much without actually plugging this in and uh, seeing if it's got any uh, actual output that's uh, that, uh, correct. Um, so I'll have to record something out of this and see if it actually sounds any good. Um, which brings us to the next part of the video where I just realised I haven't actually set anything up to test this with. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just back here, um, finally got the thing all plugged in. And uh, I had to take a while to find some appropriate cables that I could use. Um, this thing's kind of hooked up in a semi-logical fashion. I'm using this uh, recorder here to record my voice because I'm using line-in on my computer to record from this. 
Um, yeah, um, so I've got finally got everything here and I've uh, just tested it out. So if we play some audio through my cell phone here, which goes in here, so it's just royalty free stuff, just off YouTube, you should be able to hear that just fine. Um, so that's coming in through this uh, input here, and I can change that. Increase the uh, volume there, you can pan left and right. So that seems to work. You can change the equalizer. Seems to work. Level works there. Um, I would uh, hook up a microphone directly to these and actually give it a try. Um, but uh, I don't know where my XLR cable is. It was uh, enough of a mission to find these ones, even though they're not much. But yeah, um, eventually I found enough. So I mean, I'm pretty sure. Well, I don't know. Everything else seems to work, to be honest. Um, I'll plug this in here. It's not bad. Um, we can play around with uh, this one here. So we can change that. Balance on this. Seems to work. Seems to work pretty well. The uh, the only real issue here is the uh, this input here. Have to uh, twist the jack, as you see, to uh, get it to work. It's because one of the contacts down inside the uh, jack there is actually bent slightly away from the. Uh, the plug when you plug it in, so obviously I'll need to get in there and just bend it back, it's just slightly a bit far away. Um, but other than that, that input seems to work fine. So the other one works okay. I push it, sounds fine. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah, you can uh, adjust the uh, level on that balance, all that kind of thing. Same with this one, seems alright. Um, so yeah. Um, I've tested this uh, other input here, that works too. Um, headphone output obviously works, as I'm using right now to listen to this. And, um, yeah, like I said, I can't test these mic inputs right here, but I'd be surprised if they don't work, to be honest. Um, everything else seems to be fine. I'll test the main output, that works fine. Um, but of course, then I can't uh, I can't input anything, because this is the only, the only cable I've got with these jacks on it, <laughs> um, to hook this up with the uh, 3.5mm stereo on the other end. So, yeah, um, but it does seem to be working pretty nicely. Um, and the main volume works too. The only thing I can notice is a little bit of clicking noise when I turn this up. May not be that noticeable. I think that could be an artifact of uh, plugging this cell phone in because you've got the headphone output designed to drive headphones right into a line in. Um, impedance mismatch issue, so it could be just clipping or something. Um, doing something silly with to do with the headphone output, but apart from that, I mean, obviously I'd hook it up to a CD player or something, but I don't have um, any uh, royalty-free music on CD or anything. I'd have to burn one and muck around. I can't be bothered. But I mean, from basic tests here, it does seem like this thing's actually working fine, um, which is kind of what I expected. I mean, yeah, it uh, seems to be okay, and um, it looks like the main issue really. Was just that the uh, the power supply was the wrong one, um, <laughs> so yeah, I guess uh, an interesting question could be, well, what would it sound like if you actually plugged this in, um, just as is, which is uh, an interesting question and something I might just try um, to see just for fun. So let's just plug this back in. So let's see, is this working? Yep. So that all sounds normal, right? Sounds perfectly fine. Um, as you'd expect. I switch this off. Now we plug in the wrong power supply. 
this should give us a horribly distorted signal. Basically. If anything. We get anything? No, we get nothing. So there's no, no output at all from this whatsoever. Um, it just doesn't work. Completely uh, completely dead, which is kind of what you'd expect. I mean, yeah. Why would it work? Um, I kind of expected to get something coming out that's horribly distorted, but uh, I guess it's uh, maybe designed a bit better than that. Anyway. Well, that's what it should sound like. Pretty nice, really. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I should be able to use this uh, potentially as a mixing thing for doing videos. I can plug my microphone into this, maybe, um, and of course uh, mix in other other sources if I want to test, um, like an amplifier or something or whatever. I can just plug it into this without having to resort to using that or anything. Or I can use it for other things if I want. So not. Uh, Let's turn this off, it's getting a bit confusing, but yeah, so not bad, I guess. Um, something listed as faulty when really the only fault was it was trying to be used with the wrong power supply, and whoever did that um, seemed to have absolutely no clue. Um, that, uh, well, yeah, <laughs> read the voltage ratings on the uh, power supply, read the uh, requirements on the actual device, check to make sure the, uh, the power is correct. I mean, it's not even alternating current is direct current it's yeah I don't know I don't really understand how anyone can not notice that but uh, yeah anyway if you uh, yeah if you don't notice that well hopefully you'd have a look and notice it um, I don't know but hey good for me I got this for 30 bucks and there's uh, pretty much nothing wrong with it so I can try and tell um, I don't know about this uh, like I said the main control there Sounds pretty normal, just the background hiss, but with this playing, this and clicking, um, there's probably just impedance mismatch between this and it's just glitching up the headphone amplifier in this, which was uh, set to maximum volume anyway, because, you know, like I said, it's not designed to drive a line in, it's designed to drive headphones, which are low impedance and everything like that, so, yeah, you're not going to get it to be working perfectly. Um, yeah, that's cool, so, yeah, amusing. Not really a repair, but uh, something interesting nonetheless, and definitely something to watch out for. Make sure you do plug the correct power supply into things. I mean, in this case, it doesn't actually do anything, you just hear nothing, nothing bad happens at all. Um, in a lot of cases, you plug the wrong power supply in, you're going to destroy something. Um, and uh, unfortunately, there's been lots of cases with that. Um, the worst one, I think, I remember a friend of mine plugged his uh, laptop power supply into an external hard drive. Uh, expected 12 volts, got 19, blew the uh, the onboard regulator and that, and uh, fried his hard drive, and he lost uh, like 650 gigs of data, so yeah, it's a bit sad really, but hey, there you go. Um, hmm. Always watch out, please read the label, read the voltage, read the current, read the uh, polarity, read the uh, type of current, is it alternating or direct, make sure everything actually makes sense before you plug things in. <laughs> It uh, may help a lot of headache and uh, expense in the long run, especially if you sell off things as non-working when they're actually perfectly fine. But hey, good for me. There we go. So that was an interesting video. Hopefully uh, something worth watching. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll be back to normal schedule soon and I'll be able to bring out some other things. So sorry, it's not particularly interesting. It's not a highly in-depth repair like the uh, laptop one I previously did, which was probably a lot more interesting. But... Um, yeah, still interesting nonetheless, at least for me, because now I've got a nice little mixer I can use. It, uh, it's great. Anyway, yeah, see you next time. <laughs>